Vina lives in a quiet St. Paul neighborhood. A college graduate with academic honors, she owns her own home and operates her own business. But few know her difficult journey to this place. My life was so beautiful when I was born until I reached 17 years old. And then my life changed because the Camaros. Camaros took over the country in 1975. The Khmer Rouge were followers of the Communist Party of Kampuchea who ruled Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. Attempting to create a purely agrarian society, their social engineering policies and fear of free market activities resulted in mass genocide and the deaths of 3.3 million people. I would tell you this one time that when I was, we were forced out of the, out of the capital, out of the house, I wondering, I was lost in the, in the forest by myself. I was 17 years old and, and there was a Khmer Rouge soldier was going to rape me. And this situation like this, if it happened to somebody else, nobody can get away. But for me, this is a true story. I begged him, I said, please don't touch me. I'm an innocent person, and, and, and I just beg him. You know what he told me? I ran fast and don't look back. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, I ran back and found my, my parents back, yeah. And that's why I said that not only one time, too many times that I've almost killed, but nobody ever touched me. Yeah, I left the house with my family that time during the Civil War. And then during the Khmer Rouge regime, only three, three years, eight months, and 20 days, my father was killed. My, I think probably 40 family members were killed. And all I know that in Cambodia, no matter what, you say I'm innocent, they kill you anyway. So they're not going to listen. So that's why I decide, I make my own decision that either I stay there and claim that I'm innocent and get killed and we don't know when. Or I risk myself to leave the country alone and find something to do. Alone and fearing for her life, she came to the United States and was granted asylum.